This is a golden retriever with Jake. There's one to work the doing. Yeah, the one at a time. <laughs> Oi, it's licking his butt. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fighting is that? <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Golden Retriever is actually one of my favorite breeds and it's so funny to watch them play. They're not really fighting each other like when Jake is with other dogs and Aspens. They're usually kind of aggressive. <laughs> but you see the Golden Retriever, he doesn't even put his paws up. He just like... He's so gentle. <laughs> <laughs> and a crazy thing earlier today, Jake got attacked by two dogs. They actually bit onto his neck, and I was in front of it, I saw it, and they ripped off his collar. So the collar with his Jake name and phone number got broken off, and I had to kick the dog off Jake. It was. Why the attack, Jake? Territorial, I think. Yep. Protective. <laughs> <laughs> You know why protected? Because we visit one of the place and yeah. Yeah, we were in their home, so it's understandable by the dog. He he was in a loose chain. He actually got released by accident or strength. Yeah. I also, I don't want to put my hand in front if they're fighting with other dogs. So <laughs> he was licking backwards. Oh, oh my God, Jake! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alex. Hello. So you brought something. Hello, Jake. Uh, behind, Jake. Behind. Behind. Jake. behind. Okay, come hey. in. Stay, Jake. Hey, we got blue rubber mats. Yeah. All right, so we're back in Alex's village. Yeah, okay. My house is just over there. So uh, we're basically neighbors, me and Alex. We can just walk over. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Sorry, I was close because you know if this is open, <laughs> all my candy here. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> my son was ready. Yeah. Gotta keep it locked. Oh, goodbye, Mentos. Wow. Look at the Boko tree, guys. All right, we're gonna go pick up uh, two customized chairs that I just purchased the other day. And then we're gonna try to find uh, some buckets where we're gonna build up our scuba studio or cleaning station. So after we uh, done some scuba diving, we always have to rinse off the salt water. So I want to set up like a small cleaning station at the porch or the parking lot at my new place. Got the chairs ready. Take this one. This one. This one. These are this one. These are super nice. Oh, that's comfortable, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it. Sir, what Alex, you try it. Try Alex. Give it. Yeah. Huh? GoPro. Huh? GoPro. GoPro? Go yeah. GoPro, yes. GoPro. GoPro? Yeah. yeah. Wow. How, how is it? You, yeah. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. It's good, eh? Yeah. GoPro? Yeah. GoPro? GoPro. GoPro. It's like a camera. Yeah, these guys customize a lot of things and it's just on the side of the road. Okay, 
Yeah, just wait. I think we have to put the uh, seats up, Alex. Yeah. yeah, put the seats up. Very lightweight. Strong metal structure inside. So light. Very light. light. Yeah. <laughs> this place guys I love the heat here I just know back home in Iceland we would run from the car into a store freezing cold windy here the sun and heat is bathing your skin I love it nice one we're gonna strap it up yeah okay on it which one we have three options or three yeah, maybe check which one has a uh, uh, proper have, ceiling. Yeah. This one on it. Make sure you have the remote one. Make sure the... All the sealed up. Good, good, good. Okay. Close up, close up, close up, okay? Okay. This two is good. This two? Ah, uh, ready to have a note. So light. Yeah. Are we gonna put this on? Okay, this one is okay. I feel like Filipinos can do everything. They like do it all type of people. And Alex is just awesome dude. He he's actually one of the most professional dive guides going to uh, custom trips to Tupataha. But obviously COVID. So it's nice we're able to support him in some way. And he's helping us a lot. Very nice. More? Okay. <laughs> it's always a way in Philippines. Alright, made it back. The barrels are here. Alice is gonna bring a grinder one day, so we've cut it in half. We're gonna place them over there. So when we have our scuba gear and we wanna rinse it off, dip it in. Cameras, BCD, suits. Then we have a pole, goes from there to there, hanger, perfect. And already set up a shower, so we have a hose to fill up the buckets or rinse something or even car wash, and then a shower as well. Awesome. We filled up, got a really nice lunch, and now we're on the boat called IMI. We got Chris Lock Holmes with us. <laughs> Show us that. So this is this is his new name, Chris Lock Holmes. <laughs> Where did you get that? Uh, I think from a post number of us. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so we made it to a, a dive site called Darwin North. That's the sanctuary here behind us, and we came up here on our previous video and we're gonna dive up north to a place called the secret corner that's where the uh, usually the octopuses are fingers crossed we're gonna see something Now, not a day passes by or wouldn't be a proper Kuya Pin Pin episode without a little bit of diving or something underwater. So on a hot day like this, after doing a couple of things above water, 
we gotta go underwater. And this is one of the reasons why I chose Dawin. It's the diving, of course. Although in the Philippines you can never get bored, but during these difficult times in the pandemic, we are a little bit limited about things that we can do or go to. Therefore, I thought Dawin was the most perfect place to be stuck around for an uncertain time. Because each and every single dive is different from another. On this dive, we do it with Chris and Justin, just aside of our Pura Vida. And we saw a lot of cool new stuff. First ones, these giant two stonefishes. And the next one worth to mention are these spiders. Well, not actually spiders, but they are called underwater spiders. And if that doesn't freak you out, then I don't know what does. on every single dive in Dawan you're guaranteed to see beautiful common critters although we've been skipping most of them here we got a couple of them and especially this beautiful shot of this scorpion fish their eyes are so trippy I don't think every single scorpion fish has the exact same looking eye and on pretty much every single nudibranch or sea slug I go to my books try to identify them however with this one I couldn't probably undescribed and after a couple of months or years here, I'm definitely gonna make a book about all the creators that I find that are undescribed. And then I'll get some of my marine biology friends to help me sort them out, what type of species they are, and hopefully publish it one day. Now there's a tons of lionfish here in Darwin and I don't think they're invasive or at least they're not described that here in the Philippines. The reason I filmed this one, he was so big and he was crawling on the bottom floor instead of swimming so I thought that was kind of interesting. This furry little thing is a crab, I believe. Chris told me the exact name of it a couple of days ago, but I, I forgot and I looked it up as well in my books. It's not there. At first, you can barely see any shape on him. It kind of just looks like one of these bushes on the bottom seafloor, but it's actually a living thing. And if you super zoom into him, you can finally see his eyes. He has the weirdest looking eyes, so huge eyelashes. <laughs> And his eyes kind of move like a mantis rib. They can go up and down, kind of funky. He also has these tiny dinosaur hands, cleaning his face, <laughs> cleaning his eyebrows, so funny. And the last critter we got is the brown stripe hydroid shrimp, named after the stripes, obviously. And he's sitting on hydroid coral. And these are one of the most stinging corals out there. And sometimes our hands bump into that. They sting like hell. And for the next few days, we'll have like big red lumps on our hand, really itchy and annoying. But anyways, really cool find. I think this was the first one for me. Awesome little sweet dive in the blazing heat. And then we got back to the boat and called it a day. Awesome day in paradise. And I'll see you guys at the next one.
awesome, huh? That was a little bit of current at the end, <laughs> but it's a good exercise. <laughs>